Good evening, folks. This is Deb Delapiana, and this is yet another short take. You know, <clears throat> I'm back here tonight because I see stuff that really makes me not just angry, but a little bit alarmed, okay? So as I float around social media, and I do spend a fair amount of time there because I literally post everywhere. I have accounts everywhere. I'm trying to spread the word, okay? I'm trying to wake people up. I'm trying to get people motivated for 2024. And then I see shit like this. Comments on some of my posts where I'm talking about the J6 investigation because we have a bunch of groups on Facebook and we post in specific groups on specific topics. And I see things like they need to use the 14th Amendment to keep Trump from running. So let's start there, because right away, alarm bells go off in my head that the American people are looking for a fucking easy, quick way out of having a second fucking nightmarish administration under Trump when they have the solution in their own hands, okay? In their own hands. So now they want to invoke an amendment, the 14th Amendment, which I get, okay? I get what the amendment reads about inciting an insurrection. But this amendment has not been invoked against a U.S. president since the fucking Reconstruction era. And that leaves it open to a lot of interpretation because that has been a very, very, very long time. And it was invoked under very different circumstances. We have a J6 investigation that isn't even over yet. And yet I hear people bitching and moaning that they need to hurry up to keep Trump out of office. Let me explain something to you. There is no law on the books in the United States of America that says that Donald Trump can't run for president, even if he's fucking convicted. You want that to change? I want that to change. But the only way you're going to get that to change is to vote the GOP out because they are not about to come to the table and put restrictions on the executive branch that can keep someone from running for office, particularly when Donald Trump still owns the Republican Party. You need a huge Democratic Party majority to pass something like that without the GOP. Same thing as I keep telling people about removing Chief Justice, or Chief Justice, uh, Clarence Thomas. You're going to need 67 votes in the Senate. There are no GOP senators who are going to cross the aisle to do that. So you would need 67 Democratic votes to accomplish that. I keep hearing all of these people, and some of them are just writers like Carl Carlson. He's a fucking opinion writer. Talking about how Merrick Garland uh, dragged his feet on the investigation. You know what? None of us can say that. You want to know why? Because we're not sitting in this investigation. We're sitting outside where it's easy for us to presume and assume all kinds of shit. The J6 investigation is huge. It is a conspiracy. But in order to prove a conspiracy in a court of law, it takes a hell of a lot more than it does in the court of public opinion where most people operate. Social media is a cesspool of public opinion. Everybody's a fucking expert, but nobody has any training in anything that they're expert in. Everybody's an expert on the law. Everybody's an expert on what the DOG should be doing, even though none of them have a law degree. Everybody knows fucking everything, but they know fucking nothing, actually. Okay? And they're not going to tell you what they're doing with the investigation because that's how cases are lost. That gives the side that they're prosecuting the upper hand and saying there's prejudicial information because shit was leaked to the press. Do you people get any of this? Is it registering at all? They have to prove a conspiracy and a conspiracy means that there's a trail and the trail means that they don't just say something one time. They have to say something more than one time and they have to involve other people. 
The documents case compared to the J6 insurrection is 10 times easier. And that took time. There have been murder cases that have taken two years to bring charges because they have to have the evidence to prove that what they know. You may know that Donald Trump is an insurrectionist. I know that Donald Trump is a traitor, but you have to be able to prove that in a court of law, not on Facebook, not on Twitter. People need to get a clue. And here's the answer to you. If you're waiting for them to use the 14th Amendment to keep Trump from running for president, forget it. That could take years because guess what? That still has to be voted on. It doesn't require a two-thirds majority, but it still has to be voted on. It has to have a majority of voters, of senators, congressmen to have that happen. And then guess what? When that does happen, if it does happen, he can challenge that in the courts. That's the right of every citizen, folks. Whether you like it or not, the system was set up this way. It isn't anything that the DOJ is doing wrong. It isn't anything that anybody's doing wrong. It is the legal system in the United States of America. Continuances of cases, stalling, it's all part of the system. One side needs more time to prepare their case. They get a stay. This is what goes on. It goes on in everyday life. What makes you think it's not going to go on when you get to the higher echelons of government? You need to understand this. Nothing in the legal system moves quickly. None of it, ever, for anyone. You have the answer right now to keep Donald Trump out of office. It's called fucking voting. That's what it's called. You get to operate in the court of public opinion. But the DOJ does not get to do that and win cases. They have to present a case that's beyond a reasonable doubt in order to get a conviction. They not only have to bring charges, but in order to get those charges, they have to present that to a grand jury and convince a grand jury that there's enough there to take it to a trial. And then when it gets to a trial, they need to have another whole jury. And you need to convince them to, to bring back a guilty verdict. You can't just go in there willy-nilly because you're all in a hurry to keep Donald Trump out of office. How about you keep Donald Trump out of office? Because whether or not he's running or whether or not he's an average citizen, he's going to go to jail. But it doesn't happen overnight. Now he's trying to stall the, the uh, trial until after the election because he's too busy to be prosecuted. And by the way, his attorneys in the in the uh, in the uh, documents case need to look at highly classified documents. That trial is not going to start until his attorneys have been cleared, so that they can receive clearance to look at those documents. Why would you ever just hand any of that shit to a Trump attorney? Would you trust any of Trump's attorneys? They're the bottom of the barrel now because he's poisoned to everybody. They have to be checked. They have to be investigated. They have to be vetted before they can be given a security clearance. This is all very complicated. None of this is that easy. And I'm tired of people being experts when they're not experts. Let the DOJ do its job. Merrick Garland went out and got Jack Smith for what I believe is two reasons. Number one, he did not want it to be perceived as political. Look what the goddamn Republicans are doing to make it look political, even though he's not the head of the case, even though Jack Smith's doing it. And number two, Jack Smith has prosecuted presidents of other countries. He knows what he's doing. I'll tell you what, let him do his job and you do your job and vote. Don't expect him to keep Donald Trump out of office. You need to do that. Get on it, people. Get a clue. I'll talk to you all later.